net line in the water where there's fish in the water. Eventually, you're going to catch a fish. It may take days. You may catch on the first cast. It may take you three weeks to go there and catch a fish. But eventually, you will catch a fish. And if we know that the result or the response of heaven is going to be angels rejoicing, then we should get an understanding of how valuable that soul is. I don't know about you, but I want to make an angel rejoice. I want to make an angel shout. I want to make an angel dance as a result of our burden. So this is where we have to develop that right now. <clears throat> Babe, will you come up here? I want to at least have some time for us to... We just talked about heaven, and that should... That should touch somebody in this place. The understanding that you may be that sinner today. Only you know what you do in your life. I don't chase you. I don't follow people. I don't have bugs on people. I don't have microphones on you. I don't use my satellite on you. I don't know what you're doing. Only you know what you're doing. And you might be that one sinner needs to repent. But if you've already repented... And you yourself have already caused a party in heaven. If you yourself have already caused the angels to rejoice. That's something we need to hold on to. One more thing. And I want this to cause us to, to, to be touched in our heart. Understand. If the angels in heaven rejoice at that one sinner coming to repentance... How do they respond? Man, I've been preaching 12 years, 10 years. Never said this statement ever in church, not one time. I love the Lord, how he does this. I've said that statement a hundred times of how the angels rejoice. But I've never said what I'm going to say to you right now. What do you think the result is when you backslide? If the heaven, angels in heaven rejoice... When a person repents, how do they feel when they leave God or walk away from God? We've got to think about that, church. These altars are open right now if you need to come and pray. If you're all just 100% healthy and okay, don't need no prayer. I mean, you can go home and go to sleep. But I just feel like whenever I mention heaven, I think that I give you a mindset of what that place is like. We need to open up these altars. Because we need to make heaven our home. And once we've done that, we've got to get a burden created in us. We've got to develop a burden for those that have not had the ability to make heaven their home. And give them that opportunity. They may not use it, they may not follow it, but you've given them that opportunity. And if you give it enough times, there's no doubt that someone will finally come to the house of the Lord and repent and cause heaven to rejoice. In Jesus' name. I've been
commitment right now. The way it I'm not going back. There's nothing there for me. Came and Hallelujah. Me. I'm not going back. Jesus.
all I need. He's all I need. Jesus is all I need. He's all I need. He's all. in the house of the Lord. Praise God. I'm going to dismiss. I want to thank you for your willingness to worship God, to turn to God, trust in God. That's what makes this church what